Hi, I'm Sarah Cobb. And I'm Melissa Lacey. And we're here to talk about how Shearwater matches nurses to hospitals. If you're a nurse getting ready to move to the U.S. with Shearwater Health, you're probably feeling mixed emotions of anticipation and nervousness. Some of those emotions may come from the uncertainty of what hospital you'll be working in for the duration of your contract. We know this is a big commitment and you've done a lot of work to get here. That's why we've developed a thorough placement process to ensure a great hospital match for every nurse. Because of this placement process, 75% of our nurses stay with their hospital after their contract ends. As we share the process, it's important to remember that we are extremely selective with the hospitals we choose to work with and only place in hospitals with which we have a contractual relationship. We affirm that each hospital's values align with Shearwater's values, regardless of which hospital you're matched with, so that it will be an excellent and fulfilling work environment for you. Speaking of hospitals, this is where the placement process begins. Our client services team in Nashville is proactively communicating with hospital clients to determine their clinical needs, resulting in requests for Shearwater nurses. These requests outline how many nurses they need and which units need them. It also includes specific skills and competencies they'd like the nurses to have, as well as an interview and arrival timeline. From here, the client services team will enter this request into a database to alert our clinical team. This is where the fun begins. My clinical team reviews the details of the hospital's request and carefully selects the best nurse candidates to fill these positions. So how do we select which nurses are best when we have so many waiting to come to the U.S.? We consider a variety of factors, such as their clinical background experience, arrival timeline, immigration status, and other hospital-specific needs. We also consider any nurse preferences that have been expressed. Once the nurses are chosen, our nurse development team in Manila will contact each nurse to present the opportunity and make sure they're interested. Think of it as agreeing to submit a job application. Once nurses are confirmed, our teams in both the Manila and Nashville office help create and update their resumes before they're submitted to our client services team. The client services team sends each candidate's resume to the hospital along with their potential arrival date. Most hospitals will have their specific unit managers review these resumes and select who they'd like to interview. The nurse development team will then prep the selected nurses for their interviews with the hospital. A video interview is scheduled for a time that works best for both the hospital and each nurse. A video interview may seem daunting, but don't worry. We make sure you are well prepared. We do everything in our power to help you succeed. And the majority of our nurses pass their interview. And if it's not the right fit, it doesn't mean there aren't other placement opportunities. For nurses who pass their interview, they will decide to accept the offer from the hospital or not. There may be legitimate reasons to not accept an offer, and we want each nurse to make the best decision for them. If a nurse declines an offer, we will seek to understand the reasoning to help guide future opportunities. After you've accepted your hospital offer, our immigration team works hard to finish your immigration and credentialing process to prepare you to arrive to the U.S. as quickly as possible. We care deeply about each nurse's experience, and this placement process is one of the ways we ensure you start your U.S. nursing career well. Upon arrival, you are an official employee of Shearwater Health, not the hospital, which means we are there to support you throughout your contract and are proud to have you as a part of the Shearwater Health family.